Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and in today's video I am trying a new ship out. It's a ship that I actually own uh, since quite a while but I've always been a little bit afraid to take it out. Now at this point the Enforcer has dropped I think a little bit in price. It's like 384 million or something like that. And uh, it just looks so good that I have to take it out for a spin. So here is the Enforcer in the uh, black skin which I think looks absolutely amazing it even says SWAT here on the side that looks so good I have to give this a try so out we go uh, it's a Sanchez nation occupied mining colony so SWAT is here to intervene and stop all of this piracy that is happening let's activate our resistance plating and then let's get started on this uh, we're going to start by zooming right in between these guys like that activate our afterburner start targeting some of the frigates we'll start out with some precision missiles for them uh, the right tool for the job let's see how a single uh, launch of four missiles does against one of these senti savages that's a one shot so that's not so bad on to the next one and uh, those Sasha bastards are trying to uh, track disrupt me but this is Concord and uh, we are here for punishment SWAT move out so it's gonna take like two shots against uh, these guys so let's keep doing that let's keep targeting this uh, these frigates and that one should be a one shot and then let's start wrapping just a little bit I do have an oversized armor wrapper just so that we can try to keep up. Now, unfortunately, cap-wise, it's not such good news. That is going to be stressed quite a little bit. Uh, but the reason why I'm taking this ship is just because of uh, of the look. It just it looks so amazing that I had to give it a try. So there we go. That one goes down. A couple more frigates to go. A couple destroyers as well. Let's start firing. Let's keep wrapping. And uh, we are cutting right through these bastards like that. So that's pretty damn good. Let's see if we can also like speed past them and try to mitigate some of that damage with our speed. Let's see if we can one shot this guy, for instance. Yeah, and look at that. Uh, I must also admit here, this ship is not that great overall. Uh, it looks so cool, uh, definitely one of like the best looking ships <laughs> that I've ever flown actually, especially with this skin. Um, but its resistance profile is not good, it doesn't have drones, I think that's its biggest drawback compared to a lot of, uh, a lot of other exploration ships. And now this guy is actually, let's actually try and orbit at 30 on him and uh, see if, uh, if that will work out like that. So that one is next and yep, yeah, no drones, uh, only... You can have five uh, weapon slots, I think, or is it just four turret slots as well? Yeah, and I think that that's the case. Um, so you can have four launchers, these are filled up, or you have four turrets. I don't think I can add an extra turret here uh, as my sixth slot. So we're just giving this a try, of course, for this exploration run, see what comes of it. And uh, so far, well, we have decent speeds, and of course the oversized afterburner gives you decent tank, but performance wise this is pretty much a jackdaw a super expensive super good looking uh jackdaw but uh, definitely not the right tool for the job unfortunately so let's get some uh, heavy missiles for these bastards here and let's see what we can do um, against the cruisers and then we'll have to see if we can actually rush in uh, against uh, the true sasha at the end there as well that's gonna be interesting so am I staying in range? What's my range with the heavy missile? 70 kilometers. So that is not a big deal. And there we go. Now dishing out punishment from afar against these cruisers. That was the third folly. The fourth one. All right. Half uh, the armor is gone. And then now we're in structure. And then this volley, yeah, still not down. Yeah, this is definitely not um, as good as it can be, but it just looks so good. Look at some of the some of the shield effects here. I love this this grid line that you have. If, if they would actually hit me, now we're actually just straight up avoiding them like crazy. Ah, there we go. Look at that grid line. These Concord shields. That looks so goddamn cool the ship itself incredibly cool as well and what i like is that you have 
all four launchers. Constantly these four launches. This really very good symmetry on this ship that really does look absolutely amazingly well. So let's keep going against these um, Sasha cruisers. And uh, why am I here? Of course, to see if they don't have any true Sasha contraband. Uh, none of these guys are gonna drop that. That's usually their leaders, their leader dro that drops it. So he's the goal at the end there. Uh, for now, we have to first take care of all of their small henchmen. So, SWAT team, keep sniping these guys out. Uh, we'll actually start reapproaching that gate slowly, I think. Let's see how that Spectre feels about my missile volleys. That's full shields, that's not so bad. Uh, as always, the fit will be in the comments. Uh, but if you're curious, these are the stats. 306 DPS, yeah, not great. You can get very close to that in a Jackdaw. Uh, that will actually have much better speed tanking as well. Um, Resistance-wise, 80%, 79% for uh, thermal and uh, EM resistance. It basically has this baseline of everything at... I think it's 43% or something like that, which actually makes it with only five mid slots not that easy uh, to fit this baby out um, very effectively. And then in the low slots, we're going with ballistic control systems. Uh, I put a true Sasha capacitor power relay in there just to try and get some extra capacitor, get a damage control, and then uh, an acceleration and an extra damage rig in the high slots. We're taking heavy missiles with, uh, at this point, either Fury heavy missiles against cruisers and precision missiles against the smaller targets. Then the big deal, of course, is the large shield booster too. I could keep repping for about a minute straight, so you do have to burst this uh, in order to maintain your cap. And eventually, well, you can obviously tell, we've been going for seven minutes already. We will get through all of this. It just takes a lot of time. And in the meantime, the sirens are blaring. It's really deafening, except that in space you don't hear any sirens. Uh, but let's enjoy this, uh, this skin. Look at these lights on the top here. That just looks so goddamn good. That is insanely beautiful. The shields are amazing. Uh, the shape, yeah, this is a Concorde ship, so unique. And if I'm not mistaken, oops, let's start, keep firing actually. Um, I received the skin uh, because I own a collector's edition. And then there's like this code uh, from time to time. It's pretty rare, but from time to time, CCP will then actually give you an extra gift. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, this, uh, this skin was part of that. Look at that ship. Yeah, not... Not a great ship, especially not for the price, in my opinion. Uh, it lacks basically drones. If it was able to, for instance, field five medium and five small drones or something like that, I think that would bring it in line with its price. Uh, but now the performance is definitely underwhelming for the price. Still, it's, it's all about looks. And this looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, don't keep your wrapper going for too long because uh, that will cost you a lot of cap all of a sudden. But we've got a small orbit now and we've got just a few more cruisers to go. So that should be good. Look at those shield effects. So cool. Very, very, very awesome uh, ship in my opinion. Not something that I'll take out regularly. I mean, uh, by this time, I think the, my Ishtar would have run two of these, uh, two of these sites. Uh, but it still looks pretty damn good. And something just spawns in. Let's actually take a quick look at what it is. Because if it's something good, then uh, that could be of interest, of course. Maybe if it were a 3 out of 10, we could we could try the performance in both of these. So let's go and take a quick look, actually, while we take care of the final cruiser. What is it that just spawned? And then I don't have to worry about drones because, well, the ship doesn't have any drones, of course. So you can just keep going. Yeah, it's a combat site. That's interesting. So here's the occupied mining colony. And what we'll, will we find over here? Usually I don't have time for this. Uh, come on, really? All right, well, Sasha are definitely up to a lot of no good here so it's time for SWAT to move in room number two we'll do a quick reload um, and uh, we'll go straight for the main enemy uh, that does mean that we get a very nice uh, uh, test of this enforcer uh, in exploration 
yeah, four out of 10. First uh, information is definitely not that great, despite the fact that it's called the Enforcer. It's not really enforcing all that much. Now, second room, let's go full speed towards the rats. And then let's hope that my DPS, uh, actually, if I, yeah, this was a jackdaw. And you gotta be a little bit careful <laughs> when it comes to just diving in with the jackdaw as well. So let's see what kind of a result we get. Uh, but let's be ready to pull out as well. If we have to shields are going down decently well but now up against the armor let's see what that'll be like so we're diving straight in these are good hits these are definitely pretty good hits but then you'll see his wrapping power come in pretty soon but this is well, man all right there is his rep but we've got multiple volleys that are still on route there is his rep again yeah yeah there you go so now i need to use my rep as well uh because we are right in the middle of all of these enemy scumbags trying to protect that uh that leader not allowed to do that come on guys come on missiles keep firing get through that armor i think a couple more volleys if he doesn't rep anymore there will be yeah he keeps repping very quickly uh my cap against his structure go 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 we are going to... He's eliminated. Let's take the contraband and then let's try to get the hell out of here. Go, 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 Enforcer. You can do this. And then we have a Sansha Command Relay where even more of these Sansha bastards are planning mis... bad stuff. <laughs> uh, 39 million. That's not bad. Let's see if we can warp straight to that one. To the 3 out of 10. So that is the first Sansha site punished. We did it. Uh, I felt like the breaking of... Um, so let's take the precision missiles here again. Uh, like the breaking of the true Sansha was not that bad. But you can tell that the tank is not great. Don't have enough capacitor uh, to keep the large shield booster going. I think with a, a medium shield booster that uh, you'd be in trouble. Unless you take like a faction 1 or something like that. And uh, eventually it worked out decently well, but obviously we have better platforms than something that takes more than 10 minutes to run a 4 out of 10. Still, the police is here and uh, since the Sansha decided to start yet another operation here in uh, the Hakshma system, SWAT doesn't rest and we are going straight into the 3 out of 10. This is pretty rare that I get a combination like this where uh, two awesome combat sites come one after another, another but uh, all the better for me to show you guys this awesome ship. So let's start targeting these bastards and uh, the cat does come back decently quickly, quickly which is good. But uh, let's take a look at again these precision missiles which take two volleys against uh, most of these targets. So actually going to try to snipe a little bit at a distance so that I can save even more cap. Uh, that should do it. You're next. And then that Black Ops squad leader does seem to want to try and pull away. So let's uh, get on an intercept course. Let's start firing at Black Ops squad leader. You are not allowed to leave the scene here. You're under arrest. You can either eject from your ship so that I can uh, grab it, impound it myself, or you will be destroyed. And uh, then I'll take whatever illicit good you've got with you. For Concord, of course, not for myself. Uh, let's take a quick look at the loot, actually. True Sansha Energized Adaptive Nano Membrane. 38 million. Not bad. Not bad at all for the first drop here. So let's uh, keep chasing this scumbag. Sirens again blaring. Unfortunately, this is outer space. And so it doesn't work. There's no way you're going to pull away from me, Sasha Black Ops squad leader. This is Concord. This is SWAT. And you are about to be swatted. He didn't want to uh, listen to me. So he only has a, a 50 year overseer effect, but those are uh, illegal here. Uh, Sasha are not allowed to have these. Obviously, their pirating activities are not legal either. And so we get to 
keep going after them. Let's do that. Um, a little word again on the ship. Obviously, this is not what you want to use it for. Uh, I don't think uh, something like the Ishtar and of course the Gila would run these sites far, far more efficiently. Uh, I would use these in an actual live event where dev actors would do stuff. Uh, perhaps something like uh, uh, if they would again um, like uh, punish bots by teleporting them uh, into Isaac. Uh, you know, if you could then start shooting at them in an enforcer, I think that that would be pretty damn cool. Uh, or an actual story live event. Uh, that's uh, what this ship is for, in my opinion. It's way too costly for the performance, uh, unless any of you guys have ideas of, of uh, fits that would be far more effective, effective than this one. Uh, feel free to uh, send them to me or to put some ideas in the comments. But I do feel, uh, compared to some of the other cruisers, yeah, that this is basically uh, a less than average ship. There's, there's so many better ones. Uh, even Vexor Navy issue, I think, uh, would do better than this ship at this point. And just to check, uh, I was really surprised by that. But yeah, it doesn't have any drones. doesn't have a drone bay. Uh, if it had that, it would actually potentially be a really awesome platform. Now like this, well, maybe, maybe because it does have... Uh, no, maybe not this way, but just do a show info. It does have all of these bonuses. Um... Galente, for instance, hybrid turret damage, medium hybrid turret tracking. Perhaps you could make like a very good brawling ship out of that. Uh, bonus to warp scramble and warp disruptor, 10% saves optimal range. Um, so you do have this, this potential PvP platform, but for PvE it's not that great. And even in PvP, uh, I personally am a little bit curious uh, as to what you would uh, use it for. Does it have something like coverts? Is that something that it could use? That's actually something that I didn't check. Oh yeah, can fit covered up cloaking device. That's of course what I could have done here. That does make this a little bit more interesting uh, than I actually thought uh, it was. I should put a covered ops here. <laughs> Not very useful in PvE again, but for PvP this ship is actually uh, potentially pretty interesting. Just too expensive for my taste then uh, to risk in pvp so let's uh, get out to the second room of this three out of ten um, and we have the final target to punish of course another true sancha bastard that will uh, probably be moving some more contraband here so let's see if we can again try to snipe out some of his uh, henchmen first just to draw his attention so this is SWAT, please surrender immediately. And now the, these missiles are underway a little bit long. So we actually have to uh, manually stop after the second volley. So that's good. And where is he? Black Ops again. There he is still hiding amid his henchmen at this point. So we're gonna wait to see what kind of a move he makes. Um, asking him to surrender immediately or the punishment will continue. So far he has been ignoring us. Uh, yeah, And that's actually a third missile volley completely wasted on this guy. But alright. And there he goes. What's he doing? Yep, again like... Uh, the uh, commander in the previous room. Complete coward trying to pull away from his mates. Trying to escape the law. But that will not work. So let's get started here. Sentus Black Ops commander for violating the law. You are about to be punished by one of the coolest looking ships in the game. Good God. And that skin. So amazing. I'm pretty happy to take it out actually. Um... Yeah, and I, I, I honestly, CCP, bring out some dev actors, bring out some real life events in the game again. Uh, you'll uh, you'll see me in a ship like this at some point. That would be very cool as well. Other than that, I don't think that I would want to use this in PvP. Although, covered ops and all of that, definitely potentially very, very capable. Black Ops Commander is breaking, however, pretty damn slowly. But uh, not allowed to get away from us. 
And there she blows. Let's see what kind of loot we get. Oh, 23.7 million with a wrapper. That is not bad. Now we've got some more Sasha to punish back here. So we will slowly do that as well. But that's what I want to show you guys with, uh, with this video. It's a very cool looking ship in my opinion that I have here. Uh, not something I'll use regularly, but just something that I'll keep on the back burner for something really cool later down the line. Uh, when the right opportunity shows itself. Thank you very much for watching guys. And as always, I'll see you next time.